Welcome. It's your friendly neighborhood, Badger here, and I'm back with a new build showcase. Uh, this build has actually been semi-chosen by you on YouTube. I'm not sure if you saw the community poll and also the people on my stream. Uh, we had a few different builds to choose from and it was overwhelmingly voted that people wanted to see a full fortify effect uh, and kind of dodge chance or uh, evasion type character. And that's what I've decided to build. So, you know, I basically uh, didn't pose a skill uh, to it or, you know, any sort of ascendancy. But I decided to go for a champion, because you basically get Fortify there, and we decided to go for Ballista Totems. Now, there's a few reasons for this. Elemental Hit Ballista Totems is what I should say. Um, now, I'm going to run through everything about this build in a moment, uh, but first I'm going to showcase the build and how it actually works in maps. Now, keep in mind, this build is level 79. I'm still wearing pretty terrible leveling gear in a few of my slots. Um, apart from a really nice crafted helmet and uh, bow and uh, quiver over here. These are all pretty good, so they give me good damage. But uh, you can see my resistances here. We're sitting on 55, negative 24, and 74. So there's a very real chance that I might just get popped by okay, cold damage here. But I also just want to show you, you know, what this actually feels like and how it functions in a map. So yes, I said elemental hit ballista totem. So ballista totems means uh, supported by ballista totem support. I have two different setups here. I have an elemental hit setup um, uh, for single target with barrage. So this is my elemental hit. Basically, I put some books down on the ground. You can see here, and they kind of fire and they, you know, use barrage so they do some single target there. But then I also have a clear setup which has like GMP and uh, chain and pierce and everything like that. So I can put those totems down and that just starts clearing the map. Now you'll notice my character's quite fast at the moment. I have some really, really good uptime on uh, Berserk on this character. Now, Berserk is basically, you know, sacrificing my rage per second to give me increased move speed or more move speed to give me more attack damage, more attack speed, and less damage taken. And the way that we're gaining rage is through Chainbreaker. Now, you may have seen this on my last character, but Chainbreaker works even better on this character here because we don't ever attack ourselves, meaning that um, we never lose any rage from attacking. So as you can see, it's pretty nice to clear. I'll even do a ritual here so you can see. I just kind of put the totems down, and I can kind of just sit here, and they kind of just, you know, clear everything. Um, and the damage is going to be going way up as well. Uh, right now, my clear is only on a five link. I just haven't put my, my sixth link in just yet. Uh, but you can see all of that goes through there. And then, basically, we come up to the boss here. Uh, I'm just going to clear here, put the totems down, and then uh, chuck everything on the boss. And you can see, even right now, the damage is feeling pretty darn good. Um, uh, look, I'm pretty happy with this build. Uh, we're at 3.3k life, and I feel safe even with the amount of resistances I have. Also because of the extra element in this build. Now, I did mention at the start, you guys kind of helped me choose this build with Fortify Effect and some dodge and evasion. I've tweaked it a little bit with chat on stream. Uh, so it's no longer actually going for a full dodge route. Instead, we're going for a lot of evasion, still using Kintsugi, still using Wind Dancer, but actually going Iron Reflexes instead. Now what Iron Reflexes is doing is converting all of our evasion rating to armor. So what this means is with Wind Dancer, giving us 20% more evasion rating if you've been hit recently, and with Kintsugi giving us 50% 50, 50 increased evasion rating if you've been hit recently. This means every time we get hit, our armor goes from, what does it sit right now? About 6.3 thousand. Let's go find an enemy to go attack us. Uh, if it can actually hit us. Come on, hit me. Apparently I just want to dodge. Oh, almost died, but up to 11 thousand there. And that's without flasks or anything like that. And that's obviously going to keep jumping up a lot more um, as we uh, scale the build even higher above level 79. So that's one of the defensive aspects of the build. The second defensive aspect, obviously, is Fortify. Now, Fortify um, is really, really nice. We pick up some nice Fortify nodes here with Fortify Effect. Even the node, the Lethal Pride, that's giving me Chainbreaker, I managed to roll Fortify Effect on Lava Lash here as well which is also helping me uh, get some more Fortify effect. Then we've also got a really nice helmet here, giving us increased Fortify effect and armor while you have Fortify. 
Uh, so our Fortify is giving us close to, instead of 20% less damage from hits, uh, close to 40% less damage uh, from hits right now, which is pretty crazy. So with 40% less damage from hits, and then 20% less damage taken if you've not been hit recently from Kintsugi, 20% less damage if you've not been hit recently from Wind Dancer, and 20% less damage from Berserk itself. Um, they're all multiplicative together, so it ends up being close to around 70% less damage if we haven't been hit recently. So if a big hit hits us after we haven't been hit, we don't take much at all. And then when we do get hit, our armor gets massively buffed up, uh, and we still uh, basically resist a bunch of elemental damage um, from our Fortify. And then when I do cap my resistances... I will be extremely tanky. That's pretty much the build. That was, you know, a lot to explain. We're going elemental hit. We're fully converting to fire with Avatar of Fire because there's some more stuff that, you know, goes into all of that. We're scaling the level of elemental hit with a really nice bow here and empower to get it up to level 28 right now to scale the damage. And we get a bunch more damage when we do finally even use our Diamond Flask, use like a Bottled Faith or a Wise Oak. Um, and then, uh, you know, maybe also even getting a Jade Flask in here with increased evasion or increased armor or anything like that. Um, it's extremely scuffed right now. As you can still see, we need to get our Chaos Res up, all of our res. But the build's functioning in a tier 15 map, uh, as I just showcased you there. I'm extremely excited to get this build, uh, rolling through the end game and see how much damage we actually can take. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this little build update. This is looking like a build that I will be doing a build guide on because it does look like I can definitely uh, pump out a budget version of the build as well uh, using, you know, some pretty cheap items. Um, so definitely check out for that maybe in like a week or two or something like that if I, you know, figure out that this build is really functioning well on a budget as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to keep investing uh, currency into it. If you want to come see it live, twitch.tv slash thisisbadger, you can definitely jump in and see us uh, gear this character up. Um, but uh, yeah, if you enjoy this kind of content, hit that sub button down below. You know you want to. If you're not subbed already, it's just a click. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, Badger out.